Hi guys, this is Mrs. Hill. This is our fourth lesson in our book for this week. Our book is titled Tipu. We've met him um, in every part of our story this week in the previous three lessons. Tipu's a baby elephant with his sister and his family, um, and they were living in the plains in Africa until some hunters came along. Those hunters came along. Um, Tipu and his sister ran scared. They met up with a friendly stork, a baby leopard, a baby rhinoceros, and the stork was taking them somewhere safe. So today we are going to see where that safe place is for Tipu, his sister, and their friends. So what I want to do is go back a little bit. Um, yesterday's part of the story showed Tipu getting off or getting out of a truck, walking down a, a big ramp. We've got some pretty green grass here. Um, so he was moving somewhere. They put him on a truck and put him somewhere. That illustration's a heck of a lot nicer than some of the earlier ones in the story. Um, so today's illustrations, check this out pay particular attention to the expressions on the animal's faces. That's something we've been talking about. That's something we've been looking at um, in the story um, as we've gone along. Those facial expressions tell you a lot. So here we are. We've got some rhinoceroses, some leopards. And check this one out right here. We've got two baby elephants. We've got a big elephant. Look at those trunks are up. Looks like we got a little smile, those pretty little eyes. So let's see what happens. We're going to go back. We're going to reread um, part of yesterday's story. Before we do that, we're going to take a little preview. We've got two questions today that will finish up our skill sheet. Um, our question, what do the animals do at the end of the story? So we'll find out what happens at the end of the story. We are at the end of our story. Um, I think it's been a fun story this week, um, but we're going to finish up today. Um, and the second question, I'm going to mark part of it off. I don't like that one. I don't like that question, so I'm going to mark it off. So the second question, although this story is fictional, the things that happened to the animals are real. Sometimes um, in real life, um, people go hunting for animals that um, in different parts of the world and they separate animal families. So just wanted to kind of throw that out there as well that although this story is fictional, the things that happen to animals, the things that happen to animals are real. So it's kind of like realistic fiction, um, which is a whole nother category of reading, but it's a realistic um, scenario that could happen to animals um, out in the world. So that's one thing that we won't answer that question, and um, we will take a look at, um, we'll go back and take a look at that part of the story when we reread before we take our AR test. So Let's take a look at our story. This is the part from yesterday. I'm going to reread it just a little bit before we um, move on to today's, to today's part. Tipu awakens in the truck with the other animals. The truck stops, and men gently lead the animals down the grassy plain. This, this place is safe for animals. Tipu begins to understand that not all men try to hurt animals. Some are good and gentle and helpful. The little rhinoceros sees six other rhinoceroses waiting in the water hole. So it's a big pool down there for them. He is so happy to see them, he runs over and rubs horns. So here he is over here with the other rhinoceros. A moment later, the leopard sees a family of leopards resting beneath a big tree. She runs over to play with the other baby leopard. So they're all playing under the tree. Tipu and his sister hear a loud trumpeting sound. Standing out on the plain is a herd of elephants. One of them is calling. 
They have found their family. They are safe. So what a fun ending to the story. Um, Tipu and his sister found their family. They're in a safe place. Um, the stork led everybody to a safe place. Um, and the hunters um, didn't catch all of the animals they were looking for. So we're going to go back um, to our question. What do the animals do at the end of the story? We're going to restate part of that. We're going to use this part to begin our answer. And we're going to say the animals blank at the end of the story. Okay, so you're going to fill in the blank. You, you'll you have more than one word. You might have a couple words in there um, to tell what the animals did at the end of the story, but that's the only question you have to answer today. Um, by me thinking, by me marking this bottom question off, um, we're not going to worry about this one, so I'm going to put some X's through it. So you don't have to answer that question. But I do like uh, the information. Although the story is fictional, the things that happen to animals are real. Um, just to kind of tie up our um, reading story today, sometimes in fiction titles, um, you have realistic events. So do you have any questions about this assignment or this question? Um, I'm always available through Remind. Do not turn in your skill packet today. We will not turn it in until Friday. To the last lesson for the week um, will be, we will do a question review. Um, I'd like you to read your questions and answers out loud, but we'll talk about that um, for Friday's lesson. But you should have all your questions answered. Each of the videos that are... Um, uploaded to your Google Classroom have video numbers. They also have page numbers with them. So if you have to go back and answer any questions, the videos have page numbers on them as well if you're missing anything. Um, thanks a bunch.